good morning today we'll discuss certain short tricks in max first of all multiplication with 5 50 25 and 125 so whenever you need to multiply a number with 5 take half the number and multiply with the 10 I'll show you how it is so when 72 into 5 means it is same as 72 into 10 by 2 so you are taking half the number and multiplying with the 10 the same way multiplication with 50 50 means it is 100 by 2 so you take half the number and multiply with 100 similarly 72 into 25 how it is it is 72 into 100 by 4 so you take one fourth of the number which is 18 followed by two zeros it is one eight double zero and multiplication with 125 125 it is very important it is 1000 by 8 so 72 into 1000 by 8 that's 72 by 8 it is 9 and the answer is 9000 the same way we apply the reverse logic division with 5 50 25 and 125 so 8000 divided by 5 means it is 8000 divided by 10 by 2 or it is into 2 by 10 so what you do is you strike out a 0 and multiply with 2 so 800 into 2 1 6 double 0 similarly divided by 50 means 8000 into 2 by 100 so 18 into 2 it is 160 similarly divided by 25 it is 8000 into 4 by 100 so 18 to 4 which is 320 and finally divided by 125 which is the most important one it is 8000 into 8 by 1000 and the final answer is 64 so that's how we multiply and divide with 5 50 25 and 125 next multiplication with 50 so whenever you need to multiply 15 one simple procedure suppose you need to multiply 26 the half of 26 is 13 you add that to the answer is 39 you multiply with the 10 you will get the answer so whenever you need to multiply a number with 15 add half the number to that number itself and multiply with the 10 the logic is that 15 into 15 means it is into 30 by 2 or into 3 by 2 into 10 which means it is one and a half times into 10 so you have to add one time to half time and you multiply with the 10 similarly 16 into 15 means 16 the half is 8 you add that to you get 24 into 10 to 40 it is applicable whether it is odd or even 15 again the half is 7.5 you add it you get 22.5 into 10 the answer is 225 next the multiplication with 11 so i'm just taking an example 1 2 3 4 5 into 11 so what you do is first you write down this 5 below and next add 5 to the very next number 5 plus 4 it is 9 again 4 plus 3 it is 7 3 plus 2 it is 5 2 plus 1 it is 3 and you write the 1 below okay the same way I'll show you another example with a carry so here you write down the 9 below 9 plus 8 is 17 so 7 1 is a carry next 8 plus 7 15 plus 1 16 again 1 is a carry 7 plus 6 13 plus 1 14 1 is a carry 6 plus 5 11 plus 1 12 1 is a carry that carry you add to 5 it becomes 6 so it becomes 6 2 4 6 7 9 and the last thing is multiplication with 9 99 triple 9 or it can be anything like that here just one condition is there the number of digits here and here it should be the same that is here it is 2 here also it must be 2 if it is 4 it should be 4 okay so I will show you how it is the first procedure is subtract 1 from this number so you get 57 now next you subtract the full thing from 99 and write it here that is 9 minus 5 it is 4 9 minus 7 it is 2 this will be the answer I'll show you again 
you subtract one from the units place rest everything you write it the same way now what you do is each number you subtract from 9 and write in this order that is 9 minus 1 it is 8 9 minus 6 it is 3 and 9 minus 5 it is 4 9 minus 8 it is 1 this will be the answer this is how you do multiplication with 9 or 99 or triple 9 when the number of digits is C next we will be dealing with the base multiplication which is one another important trick okay so initially I take 98 into 96 so what I did here is 98 you take 100 as a base so 98 is 2 less than 100 so I write minus 2 above this 96 is 4 less than 100 so you write minus 4 above this the first step that you do is either subtract 98 minus 4 or you can do 96 minus 2 either way you will get the answer as 94 now you find the product of these two and that will be the remaining two digits that is minus 2 into minus 4 it is plus 8 so you write it as 9408 not 948 now I'll tell you what why that happens that is 98 minus 4 or 96 minus 2 it is 94 the actual procedure is you multiply this with the base 100 to that you add the product of these two that is why it is 9408 similarly 92 into 93 taking the base as 100 it is 8 less than 100 this is 7 less than 100 so 92 minus 7 it is 85 93 minus 8 also again it is 85 now 8 sevens are 56 so it will be 855 6 this is applicable also is above 100 so if it is above 100 i write a plus 2 and plus 3 above this so 102 plus 3 it is 105 again you can do this way also you'll get the same answer next three twos are six so you write a two digit zero six similarly plus 4 and plus 12 when it is 104 into 112 you will do either way 112 plus 4 it is 116 12 fours are 48 so directly you can write the answer the next thing is 115 into 105 it is plus 15 and it is plus 5 so you add one way 115 plus 5 120 15 5 are 75 so your answer is 12075 now when it comes to this case 108 into 94 one number it is above the base and one it is below the base so what you do is 108 minus 6 it is 102 or 94 plus 8 is again 102 so what you do is you have to multiply with the base 100 and then you have to subtract this why because 8 into minus 6 it is minus 48 so it is 10152 that will be the answer we will do the same thing here also it is plus 2 and it is a minus 4 96 plus 2 98 you multiply with the base 2 into minus 4 it is minus 8 the answer will be 9792 that's how you get the answer this can be applied for any numbers taking any zero digit number ending number as the base suppose it is 18 into 90 take 20 as base it is minus 2 and it is minus 1 18 minus 1 it is 17 19 minus 2 again it is 17 the only thing is that you have to multiply the corresponding base which give the answer as 340 to that you add the product of this minus 2 into minus 1 is plus 2 it is 340 when it comes to 27 into 29 it is plus 7 it is plus 9 29 plus 7 it is 36 multiplying the base 20 you get 720 to that you add the product of these two which is 63 the answer will be 783 this was done using 20 as base the same example can be done with 30 as base we'll see how it is taking 30 as base it will be 3 less than 130 it will be 1 less than 30 
27 minus 1 it is 26 into the base 30 so we'll get 780 to that you add the product of this you will get 783 so you got the same answer next multiplication with over the base 50 suppose you need to find 46 square it is same as 46 into 46 so if 50 was a base it is minus 4 and minus 4 46 minus 4 it is 42 you have to multiply with the base we already discussed multiplying 50 you take half the number followed by two zeros to that you add the product of this which is 60 so it is 2116 that will be the answer Next, we'll discuss an important method which is 2 into 2 multiplication, which is same as multiplying two two digit numbers. So, first of all, I'll tell you a rule. Whenever you need to multiply two two digit numbers, first you take the units digit, that is 2 and 4. Next, you take the middle numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. Last, you take the last column 1 and 3. So, here and here, you do straight multiplication. In the middle, you do the cross multiplication so first 4 to 2 it is 8 next in the middle case you have to cross multiply them and add it 3 to 2 6 1 into 4 4 6 plus 4 10 you write 0 and 1 is a carry that you add to this 1 3 3 plus 1 4 I'll show you another example 24 into 32 first 4 into 2 8 then 12 plus 4 which is 16 6 1 is a carry last this 3 2 is a 6 plus 1 7 the answer is 7 68 26 into 35 6 5 is a 30 0 3 is a carry next 18 plus 10 28 plus 3 31 1 3 is a carry last 3 2 is a 6 plus 3 9 so you got the answer as 9 1 0 Similarly, you can try with any examples taking any two two-digit numbers. So, I'll tell you one more important method how you can check the answer. Not only for this, for any multiplication. Suppose 1, 2 into 34, I got 408. I need to check whether the answer is right or not. So, first I add these two. 2 plus 1, it is 3. Now, I add these two. 3 plus 4, it is 7. Now, you multiply these. 7 threes are 21 again you add it to make it into a single number 2 plus 1 it is 3 now we'll add the answer also 4 plus 0 plus 8 4 plus 8 is 12 1 plus 2 it is 3 so you got the same answer on the either side this happens only when you get the right answer and now we'll see one more example 26 2 plus 6 it is 8 this also is 8 8 into 8 64 6 plus 4 10 1 plus 0 it is 1 in the same way we'll add the answers 9 plus 1 it is 10 1 plus 0 1 so like that you can check whether the answer is right or not this is just a way for checking whether the final answer is right or not without multiplication now next we'll discuss this same way with two three digit numbers that is three into three multiplication i'm just taking a simple example let it be one two three into four five six so i'm splitting into columns first i take three six then two five three six then the full thing one two three four five six then the last two one two four five and the last one and four so here and here you do the straight multiplication these two places you do the cross multiplication in the middle you cross multiply n line numbers and the middle two numbers you straight multiply i'll show how it is done suppose it is one two three into four